The Earth is surrounded by a protective atmosphere. It keeps our Earth warm and protects us from comets and meteors. This atmosphere can be divided into four individual layers, separated by changes in air temperatures. These layers are the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the thermosphere. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and the layers of the atmosphere along with the temperature and atmospheric pressure. The troposphere is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases, including argon. It is a layer where we live, and it's a layer in which weather occurs. The atmosphere in the troposphere presses down with a great deal of pressure each day, but many times we don't even notice this. In fact, this coke can is crushed by our atmosphere. As you go upward in the troposphere, the temperature drops. This is called the lapse rate, and the temperature drops 3 degrees Fahrenheit for every 1,000 feet in elevation. For example, in my state, Augusta, with an elevation of 136 feet, has an average high temperature of 77 degrees. And Blairsville is over 3,000 feet in elevation and has an average high temperature of 68 degrees. The troposphere extends from the ground to about 10 kilometers. This is equal to 25 laps around a track. At the very top of the troposphere, temperatures drop to around negative 50 degrees Celsius. This begins our next layer called the stratosphere. The ozone layer is found in the stratosphere. The ozone layer protects us from ultraviolet light rays given off from the sun. And as you get higher in the stratosphere, the temperature actually gets warmer. This is because of the ozone layer absorbs ultraviolet rays and warms up the stratosphere. At 50 kilometers above the Earth, we move to the next layer called the mesosphere. The mesosphere gets colder as you go up. In fact, it is the coldest layer and can have temperatures as low as negative 90 degrees Celsius. This mesosphere protects the Earth from space junk because of the ice crystals burn up the space junk as it moves through it and extends to about 80 kilometers high. And finally, you have the thermosphere. This is very hot. In fact, it's the hottest layer, and you can have temperatures between 515 to 100 degrees Celsius at the very top. Two additional layers of our atmosphere are the ionosphere, which is full of electronically, electrically charged atoms and is the home of the northern and southern lights, and it also reflects back radio waves. The exosphere is the outermost layer of our atmosphere and stretches almost 10,000 kilometers into space. It is composed of helium and several heavier molecules, including nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, but they're spread very far apart. It is also home to the satellite. Each layer is classified according to temperature. As you gain elevation in the troposphere, the temperature actually drops. The temperature range is from around 15 degrees Celsius to negative 45 to 50 degrees Celsius at the top. The temperature of the stratosphere actually gets warmer with elevation and ranges from minus 45 to 50 degrees Celsius at the bottom to zero degrees Celsius at the top. The mesosphere is similar to the troposphere and the temperature decreases with elevation. The temperature ranges from 0 degrees Celsius to negative 90 degrees Celsius at the top. And finally, the thermosphere actually gets warmer with elevation. The temperature ranges from negative 90 degrees at the bottom to over 1500 degrees at the very, very top. Also, as you move from the troposphere to thermosphere, in other words, you get higher in elevation, the atmospheric pressure decreases. So as you go up in elevation, the atmospheric pressure decreases. And as you go down in elevation, the atmospheric pressure increases. In fact, in 2002, Felix Baumgartner completed a free fall parachute jump from the stratosphere. And during this jump, he reached speeds of over 800 miles an hour and even broke the sound barrier. He was able to reach these speeds because the atmospheric was so thin that there was very little friction to slow them down. If you'd like to know more about the atmospheric layers, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.